Hi everybody and welcome back. Um, today's video is all about looking youthful and young and fresh and one of my top secrets and I was talking to a friend just recently and we were saying out of everything in your makeup bag what is the one thing you possibly couldn't live without and for me it's liquid or cream blushes because I feel that they are really, really anti-aging. I love Daniel Sandler's, um, his liquid, um, his like water drops and his, his cream um, blushes because they are so highly pigmented and they stay on all day and they kind of make you look like you are lit from within. And I think that is the key and the secret to looking a lot younger and a lot fresher now I do have obviously powder compacts um, but I tend to find if I do use a powder compact I really have to pay attention that I don't put too much on um, and I do find that the, the powders they sit in the, like, the tiny little fine lines and wrinkles um, so water, watercolour drops and also cream blushes they really 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 make everybody look a lot younger. Now when I'm doing makeup for sort of more mature ladies and my models, I'm always leaning towards using the cream blushes. Um, Daniel's range as well is super amazing because it has got, I think he's got about 15 shades in the watercolor range from like really, really pale, sort of like opaquey pinks if you're kind of like redhead um, and you want a more kind of like a softer look right up to kind of like a really, really vibrant colors. Now you don't need that much. You just literally need like one drop. You can use a brush or you can use your fingers. And what I do is I generally put a couple of drops onto the brush or onto the back of my hand, I dab it in and then I basically then I will I will go in and just sort of feather on the tops of my cheeks. Now it's really important that you don't go too low down here because if you go too low, this is an area that as we get older, all the muscles on your face are, it's the only area in the body that the muscles actually connected to the bones. Um, and as we get older, our muscle memory in our face, obviously it starts to sag. So if you put your blusher too low, and when you're just naturally sort of resting your face and, and just in general, oh, I've got a little friend with me. <laughs> um, when you're just naturally resting your face, your muscles will slightly droop down. You've got a muscle here called your zygmatic, and it basically, this is kind of like, this is where that helps you smile. So when you're putting your blush on, it's very tempting to smile when you are putting your blusher on but if you try not to do that if you just kind of just rest your face and then put your blusher on you'll get it in a better place because obviously if you smile your cheeks are going to be lifted and then when you drop your cheeks down they're going to drop down here so another little tip for anti-aging is always put your blusher kind of on the highest point of the bone of your cheeks this also is kind of like a bit more prominent sort of area so that's the kind of more it gives you like a fresher look, like you've just come out from like, you know, a chilly walk and you look all rosy and look really, really healthy. And using cream blushes is a lot better than powders, again, because it's just, it looks more natural. So that's my tip for today. Switch up from your powders to your cream blushes. All the links will be in the description box for all my favorites and the link to the shop. And I hope you've enjoyed this video, my lovely ladies, and I will see you again next time in my next one. See you later. Bye.